So I'm going to discuss today on how to actually find disabled Active Directory users. So let's say you have um, Active Directory and here you have like thousands of users and you as, and as you may know sometimes you disable the user's account because the user left the company or because the user is no more working for the organization. So how do we actually find all the users that has been disabled in Active Directory or actually only find Active Directory users which are enabled in um, your Active Directory? So first of all, what we need to do is we actually need to use the get Active Directory users. So I'm going to use the get a day user. Then I'm going to do actually I'm going to search. So I want to actually search for um, a particular organization unit, or I just want to search. Let me say I just want to search this organization unit called. I don't want to search everywhere here. I just want to search only the following organization unit. So let me just select. Find those properties here. Sorry, the, uh, let me just go for the global chances for the properties, and here I'm going to go for the go to the attribute editor, and and mind you to get this attribute editor, probably you when you go to properties you may not see this attribute editor because if uh, let me just go to my view if my advanced feature is not actually set checked if I click here the properties. And you can see that I'm not seeing my attributes here. So what you need to do is you need to go to view and click the advanced future. And then here you will see your property. So I'm going to search for users only in this organization unit called Global Ninja. So under my attributes editor, I'm going to go to my view to copy the distinguished name. So just keep down. So my, I'm going to search my search base. Is going to be the following. And then I'm going to filter. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the following. So I'm going to say enabled is equal to dollar false and bracket close. Then I'm going to filter my properties. Start and I'm going to Type it and then I'm going to select just for the inform the information will be displayed so that the information will be displayed um, and the, the the names will be formatted. So I'm going to select objects based on the given name, the surname, the display name as well. So let me see. So right now, uh, let me just check this down. So I have um, the get Active Directory user. The search base is this organization unit. So I'm, I'm going to filter for users which are actually false, which is set to enable is going to be false, and the properties I'm going to be I'm going to display the following name. So let me search for the users as well. Let's see. So you can see I only have just one user which account has been disabled. So let me try to disable um, some users. Let me just go here and um, let me go to these users. Let me see. I have. So day users, let me go to kill users. So I want to disable the following user. Let me see. So I'm going to disable this user. So disable account. Yes. And if I try to, let me just clear my screen. I'm going to run this again. Here you can see that I have um one, two, three, four, five, six. So this user has been disabled. So if I decided to just, let me just disable every account there. So now this account, every account in this organization unit has been disabled. So if I go to my organization, my PowerShell again, clear the PowerShell screen, and then run the script, you can see all the, um, these are the following disabled accounts. But if I want to actually filter based on just accounts which are not disabled, with all accounts which are enabled, I'm going to put this, just change this false to true so you can see with the, from the users 1 to 11 are all disabled so let me just clear my screen and run again here you can see i only have this for the following users you can see the users 1 to 11 are not displayed because these are the only users which are disabled we can as well decide to say okay i want to actually um take this information the false let me just put this back to false 
clear my screen and run this again so this information i want to actually export this information to an excel to a csv file so what i will need to do is i'll need to actually um just give this a variable let me just give it disabled users and i'll say so right now if i clear my screen and i run this you can see that this um information the get other users will actually be run and piped into the disabled variable and then if i run this variable again you can see that the name will be displayed so what i just need to do right now to export this to a, um to an csv file is to just enter the pipe and then use the export command this way and then i have the m drive i think i have uh, the m drive i'm going to call this disabled users so and i'm going to say um put csv information type okay clear the screen and run you can see that my file has been exported if i go back to my m drive here i have the disabled users when i try to edit and here you can see we have the victor users one to user 11 are all the disabled users so you can still do the same for the enabled users as well my name is Kelvin Johnson. Please, if this video has been of any help to you, don't forget to like my, vid my, my video and also subscribe to my YouTube channel for taking my time to create this video. So thank you very much and see you next time. Bye.